what we do here is go back, 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 back. Hello everybody, this is the Bulldozer, and thank you for giving me your time, and thank you for watching another one of my videos. I really do appreciate you giving me your time. If you would, please consider using my code, Mr. Boulders Gaming. You can see it there on your center screen, also a lower left-hand corner of your screen. And with that green chip mark there, folks, you can tell I am an epic partner. Well, here we go, folks. Another issue with Fortnite. This has been going on for some time. That's why I decided to make a video about it. But before that, here's some montage videos already on the channel. This is Victory Out 1 through 10. You notice it says non builder there because I am not a builder. I use the environment. Victor Owls 11 through 20. Victor Owls 21 through 30. And immediately after this video here, I'll be uploading Victor Owls 31 through 40. The footage you're going to see here is actually Victor Owl number 61 for the season it's as a non builder. As I said in that, um, I, uh, in that little message there a minute ago, I use the environment, you know, trees houses other people's builds you know um and i have a strategy about that i spoke about that numerous times and i touched about that in all those montage videos so you can go check those out but here i'm gonna throw up this clip for you real quick or actually this picture take a look at this picture here folks here's a picture of my um vegas movie uh, studio vegas that i use and you notice this is the whole gameplay before any editing and everything of Victor Owl number 61. Notice the white bar at the bottom of your screen. Halfway through that gameplay, there's no audio there. That's because I had the audio bug again. And this is getting to be absolutely insane. Um, first off, Xbox never told me my controller was dying. Never told me, told me my batteries were low. And when it did, it turned off my controller 27 seconds in uh, to the game after that message. Didn't even have time to react. But this is the thing. With Fortnite, and it only happens in Fortnite, so I hope the people at Epic Games watches this video. Because it doesn't happen to anything. I got almost 60 videos recorded of Far Cry 6. I walk away from the Xbox, come back, my controller turned off. It works perfectly every single time. Fortnite is the only game, and I'm going to repeat, the only game where if my controller dies and I go to, um, you know, put batteries in it and go back into the game, it does not work. Let's say if I'm in the game lobby, or, you know, in my lobby, and I got to do something, I come back and the controller is turned off because it's timed out, it does not work. And so I don't understand what the issue is. They definitely need to fix this. Actually, I came across the mummy right here. We now have hireable NPCs in the game. If you're not aware of that, check that out. Because again, um, we're quite a ways into this season and we now actually have two hireable NPCs. This one here, and I think I show you the other one in this game as well. Um, but yeah, I don't know what the deal is. It only happens in Fortnite. Never happened in Call of Duty while I was playing Call of Duty. Um, Resident Evil never happened. Numerous video recordings for Resident Evil. Um, like I said, you know, I've got, you know, 50, around 50, 50 plus uh, videos recorded. Actually recorded. Um, so the gameplay is, is uh, there's a lot of gameplay there for me to have 50 videos, folks. So, you know, the controller is turned off more than once. Probably, you know half a dozen times or so um, because for, um, Far Cry is one of those games where you know it's an open environment you do what you want to do it's not as I said before in another video it's not like Call of Duty where when you're playing the campaign you have to go you know from point to point to point Far Cry 6 is totally opposite of that you can do whatever you want to do but again I don't understand what this problem is so I have no clue on who to send messages to. I have taken, and I'm I'm going to actually I'm going to tag McDo um, the one gentleman uh, McDonald I think his name is. Uh, excuse me if I got your name wrong, um, because like I said I don't want to send him a link to the video, but it's like I have no other opportunity or no other choice because when you leave Epic Games a comment they don't reply. Now I can understand I'm not replying to everybody's comment, but when you're leaving a comment about a problem, 
they don't reply and you can't and they report a bug situation if it's not physically on your screen at the time you can't report it because when you when you go to report the bug whatever you're looking at that's what it's going to give you a screen capture of and they give you no text if you was to put you know some text with that report a bug reporting feature it would extremely help out a lot so again i don't know what you know what the deal is but they definitely need to take a look at it because again you saw that picture there and you can see where you know halfway through the gameplay there's just absolutely no audio and it's not just audio from my headsets folks um yeah i could take a snapshot and you would see that the elgato the, the elgato was not picking up sound which means there was no sound at all coming from the game zilch but here's the thing if i go and i watch the gameplay back in um uh, replay mode then the audio is there but it, it, the same the same game you lose game you lose the audio in the game but if you go in replay mode the audio is there so again I don't know what's going on um, but please look into this please try to get this fixed because it is a big time headache and you know it, it's one of the features I absolutely hate I mean it's almost to the point to where you're almost because um, you know, let's let's face it again. I know I say it's let's face it or not, but it's true. Fortnite is one of those games where the chance of you sitting down and just playing one game or two games is very slim. Usually, if you're gonna play Fortnite, it's like again, it's like playing Far Cry. You're gonna be playing it for quite a while. You know, at least you know five or six games. You might you might get up, go get something to drink, and come back or something like that. But again, you have the situation where if you take too long and the controller turns off this is what happens and the reason why I know it's not the controller is because if it was the controller every time the controller, the controller turned off no matter game, what game I was playing I wouldn't have audio so it's definitely a situation with the controller and with uh, Fortnite and again I'm playing on the Xbox um, not the X not the S the Xbox one um, you know, I, want, I would love to get a new Xbox, but I'm not going to pay $1,000 for a, a $500 console. Absolutely insane. And then, um, you know, all the mess that's going on right now with GameStop. And now Best Buy is saying that, you know, um, when they get their consoles in stock, if you want to purchase an Xbox X or a S or a PlayStation 5, that you got to spend an extra $200. You have, they, they're only allowing people to take and purchase the consoles that has joined their member program that is $200. It's basically like an insurance program, and, it, and it's insurance for anything you have. But still, you know, and just so people know, and I saw this on Review Tech USA, so if you go to his, his channel, if I remember, I'll put a link to the video in the description of him talking about it. You see right here, it says your control batteries are, are low. And by the way, you've heard me talking in the background. But if you go to Review Tech um, USA, I'll, again, I'll put a link to his video in the description um, when he's talking about that. And supposedly, it's Best Buy's way of stopping the scalp. So now you see it. I can come to a complete stop. And here comes the white box up on the screen. It says, please reconnect your controller. So, and there goes my NPC. My NPC died in the storm. So now take off running. And you notice there's no sound. No sound at all. Now all my numbers up top look good. Now it is showing a... Uh, a 1% packet loss but again this happens all the time the 1% packet loss um, is common but it's not constant it's it's come and go and actually my uh, ISP has a is, has a tracer on my account right now to see if they can figure out what causes the problem because sometimes my upload will only be like four or five and it should be a whole lot more than that 
But again, um, it shouldn't affect the, the sound audio of the game. And actually, when I spoke to the uh, IT guy with my ISP, they said the same exact thing. Because I asked them if the, if the, you know, the problems I'm having, would that be caused by the internet? And they told me no. That to them, it sounded like it was an issue with the game, which I believe as well. This is an issue with the game. Because you hear there's absolutely no game sound right now whatsoever. So I go ahead and spoke. I've spoken enough. Let's go ahead and advance this towards the end of the game. Actually, let's hold off before I advance this because um, Graven is the other NPC that you can now hire in the game. So I do actually end up hiring both NPCs in this game. Now, I don't know if there was another one or not. So I'm going here. Again, you know, I'm being really cautious because I cannot hear anything. I can't hear no gunshots, no nothing. You see, here's Graven, and again, you can hire him with 95 gold. He does have the pumpkin launcher. Now, here, here's another situation. It says, I met every character in the game. Graven is the new character, but the board did not give me credit for it. And actually, I'll show that to you, too. So that, that's another issue that's in this game. That you saw, you saw the legacy come up, and it said I met every, every character in the game. So Graven is character number twenty-four. So now we're going to take him and go up here. Let's go ahead and splice this. And here's another reason why you want to take and hire the NPCs, folks. Ninety-five gold. It's well worth it. Graven's going to come up here. You see, I'm using this this duck work as you know cover. And one of the reasons, let me touch on that real quick. One of the reasons why um, I'm not a builder is not that I can't build it. You can always learn to build. You know, you got, I, got, I got the crew pack membership so I could take and play Save the World in order to build if I want to. But this is the reason why I don't build. When pieces come together, when a piece is completed, it glows a real bright orange. And to me, that's like you putting out the Batman signal. You can see this person right here. So I'm going to hit them with a few shots. Graven's going to shoot the pumpkin launcher at him. And Graven got me a easy kill. Now, that does not count. As you can see, I still says one on one. But still, it made it a little easier for me. Uh, one person less I had to deal with. Now, we only have seven people left in the game. But as those pieces come together, um, you know, they glow a real bright orange. And it's like a, putting a Batman signal up, like, ding, 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 I'm right here. I might not be right at that piece that just glowed a real bright orange because it's finished um, coming together. But I'm going to be close to that area. So that's one of the reasons why I don't build. And if you see numerous, like, I've been putting these YouTube shorts up. And if you watch those, which basically the YouTube shorts I have is the last one minute of the game um, before I get the victory out. And you'll see time and time again that you know people have a hard time it gets down one versus one and sometimes a one versus one versus one so there's three people left in the game you take and they have a hard time finding you because you don't have a structure built if you don't have a structure built you're not giving away your position and that's my logic about it behind it to me i look at fortnite as a strategy game you do not need to be a builder to play this game you just got to use strategy and that's what i do and a lot of people absolutely hate that. Absolutely hate that. So I'm just looking at the challenges. Another one there that I'm looking for. For the two new NPCs. Graven and um, the singer. I can't think of her name right now. But um, I, think, I think it's Graven is, is the two it listed. No, it's, it's the guy from Ghostbusters. He's supposed to be over in Camp uh, Cod, and he wasn't there. So, but again, folks, you know, I don't understand, you know, what's causing this problem. So, basically, what I, all I can do is, and, and really, what really helped me was the fact that they have the NPC, the hireable NPCs now. And I think these are kind of cool. You get by these dumpsters and get these little creatures to come out. Give you a nice little elimination. I'm just going to go over here and open up this chest. But what really helped me was the fact that I had Graven on my side. So he was able to, as you see right there, he's watching my back. 
Now, I don't know if he takes any damage on himself, um, because if that was me and I would have done that, I would have took a lot of damage. So, go ahead and pop out of my um, gliding. But the thing was, you know, when I did that, I knocked off the phone booth, so I wasn't able to take a look at it, because I'm still trying to do these challenges. And I haven't come, I haven't gone to the center of the map yet. Here's this person right here. I'm, and this is only my second game in. I'll show you this. This is my second game in. I got lucky right there. Did not know the platform was going. Um, because after I get this victory around, I have to take and uh, erase all my my other files. I save all my files. And being this is number 61, I didn't need the other ones. But I save all my files. I name them and I put the victory out number for the current season and for overall like you know this one here is victory out number 61 number 538 for solo overall and solo is all i play you see graven running around with that that launcher is a huge help so again he is located i think, I think that area is called the old dusty depot area and again you know it's I was really a little skittish on using the broom because the fact you use the broom it draws a lot of attention. So here I'm going to spend, you know, not a whole lot of time in the bush, but definitely some time in the bush. And you'll see here in a second the game is almost over with. So remember, st uh, stay tuned to the end of the video, and I'll actually I'll show you how I name everything, and I'll show you what I was just talking about as opposed to this only being my second game in since the new update. So now moving in here, I'm going to take it, I'm going to blow up one of the gas pumps here in a second. It's just a one versus one now, but because I can't hear anything, I can't. I don't know where this person is. But because that person built those pieces over there, did you see how they just glowed orange a minute ago? They gave me an idea that, you know, again, they might not be right there, but they're on that side of the gas station. So I'm just going to keep, you know, their build and a tree in between me and them. So if they start shooting at me, I can use the tree for cover. Because the thing is, they could walk up behind me and I would never even know it. So I just shoot a couple of those bouncing rounds to them to launch them. And didn't make it nowhere near them. And I think what it was is I'm gonna shoot this one gas pump here in a second. And after the gas pump blew up, either they was already down there, or they went over there to see why it blew up. And they're gonna walk underneath the the platform here, and they're gonna start shooting at at Graven. And which again is proof the reason why you need to hire these NPCs because. When somebody sees that person, especially if it is an NPC that, that the skin has been released to per, for purchase or was given to you during a season pass, right here's where I shoot the gas the gas pump. But they don't know if it's an actual person or if it's an actual player. Now, if they wait a few seconds to look at it, they might realize, okay, well, it, it's got the uh, the glow to it and everything, so it's an NPC. But then again, if it's a regular player and you wait a few seconds, you're going to take and get eliminated. See right here, they're shooting at Graven. It allows me to drop these shots on them. And like I said, you know, I use other people's builds against them. So I just want to shoot through their, their build right here. They, they almost take me out with the pumpkin launcher. So now they made their way to the top of the hill. So again, I'm not going to build anything. I'm using a structure that's already here. So I can see if I can locate them. Because if I put a piece down, they're going to know where I'm at because I put that piece down. So that's what I'm trying to avoid. But see, I'm getting shot at and I have no clue where I got shot from. And also, here's a person right here. And there we go. Victor Rao. With no game sound again, might I add absolutely insane uh, please Fortnite, find out what is causing this problem please fix it because it is a big headache um, most of the time you know i would just back out and I would, I would quit the game but something told me not to something told me not to and probably um 
because of the fact I knew there was hireable NPCs and it just so happens I got lucky enough to come across another hireable NPC. Okay, let's take a, take a look at the legacy board. This is what I was talking about. You see I met every character during Season 8. Now, we're going to take a look at the characters and you're going to see 24 is still not um, filled in. It is, it is blank. Right down there. So, if Graven's supposed to be number 24, then Graven's picture should have been there. And again, you can see it right there. I went right back and it said met every character. Now, I'll show you how this is only my second game since the update. I didn't play it all during the day. And the first game... Um, I was number uh, second place out of 100. Um, and in here you see 13 files out of date, which told you this first time I took and looked at the replays. And you can see all my saved files right there, except for the top four, which is past gameplays, or top three actually. All the rest of them are, are my saved files, which is the name, the current Victor, um, Victor Isle number, and the overall Victor Isle number. So you can see the game right here. It had three eliminations, number one out of 99, and the first one that I played was number two, uh, second place out of 100, and had one elimination on there. And here's how I name my stuff. Just cause I've had I got this question in the past, so let me go ahead and be I'm talking about this gameplay and talk about this right here. Um, I put the name of the um, skin that I'm using, the victory out number that is again, it's the 61, um, 61st victory out for this season, and the overall solo victory out number which is 539 because I'm on a road to getting 600 victory rounds. And this is actually how I save the file when I, I save it from Elgato. I save it the same exact way. So if I go back, like, if I look at a, a victory round for last season, I'll know exactly when I got that. And you can see right there, solo 539. If people want to look at my stats, here's the stats. I'm not a big stats person. I can care less. To me, they're only numbers. Some people get absolutely bonkers when it comes to stats, and I could really care less. Because you can have a good game one game, and you can have a really bad game the next game. And, you know, so again, stats does not mean anything to me. So you can see I was using the Carnage skin. So now I go in here, and I basically do the same thing. Um, and I, I will save ten of these. I use the whole top row, which is six skins, and use four on the bottom row. And that's what I use in the videos. And if you watch the montage videos, I'll put a card up top as well as a link in the description. And again, after this video here, I'm going to be uploading um, Victor Isles 31 through 40. So I still have to do 41 through 50 and 51 through 60. I need to render those. Those games are already completed. I got everything into Vegas. I just got to basically put the audio with the video. And you can see right here, and you see that, the, you know, Cora White, you know, J.B. Rose. Then we had the Torian Warrior, and then the Carnage um, Tuna Fish skin was the last one I did. It will be the last one in that video that will be coming up. Um, I'll have to try to have both of those two up before Friday. Well, there you go, folks. Again, if you see this, please fix the problem. It is a big headache. This is the Bulldozer. Get your killing on, and I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed the video you just watched. Here's some more videos you might be interested in. On the left-hand side, my Fortnite playlist. On the right-hand side, the previous video I uploaded. Who knows what this could be? It could be dash cam footage. It could be something about on YouTube. It could be a number of things. Thank you for watching. Thank you for giving me your time. This is the Bulldozer. Get your killing on, and I'm out of here.